Hi guys, I'm definitely no bud. I just thought I'd go ahead and try my hand at making a video myself on how to do something. I was trying to explain it out, and I thought, you know what, if I could just find something to record with. So excuse the little thing that say trial on it. It is a trial. I just did it for this project. So again, the thing you're wanting to do is, you know, type something in text with, with centerline, like uh, at this point, just test. And then uh, draw there's the square around it that cuts it out, or rectangle. And you also want to have a route on the edge of that rectangle. So if you have your center line text in here, you can go ahead and draw that rectangle around. And it doesn't have to be exact. You can figure out your numbers. And then once you have your rectangle, let's make it a little bigger, make it easier to see. Go ahead and copy and paste the rectangle so you have two of them exactly the same. And because you centered that center line text that you did, you can then center your box around the text. And now you've got a good baseline for where it's at. So with that first box, you want to go ahead and do a cut path. And again on your cut path, all these tabs you're doing are telling you how many the minimum number of tags is and how big they're going to be. Um, for the max packs depth, I, I especially on you know, three quarter of an inch material, I always suggest going through in multiple passes. 0.26 seems to work really well for me. It doesn't, uh, or touch wood has never broken any bits. So once you do that, if you notice the cuts on the inside of the line, if you click on flip cut, it'll go to the outside of the line, which is a little bit useful. And then hit accept. Now for your second one, what you can go ahead and do is center it up as well. And now you've got it on top of the other box. And you can see on the left hand side, where those two things are. So if you go into that, you can go ahead and select your bit, find your 90 degree view bit, select your depth. Now again, that's that 0.375 of an inch is going to be the max depth up to this V group bit. If you go any deeper, you're going to get an edge around it, which might be what you're looking for, but in this case, let's not. Let's go ahead and go for 0.375 of an inch. And another thing I really suggest on something like this, especially if you're using tear out prone wood, is to go ahead and set a max path uh, depth on this and what I like to do is look what the depth's going to be and go short of that. In other words, make it so the last pass is going to be a very fine pass which is going to help reduce that tear out. Uh, in this case, you know, in fact, let's make it easy and let's just go 0.25 of an inch here. So it's a quarter of an inch deep on the 90 degree edging on this. And for the max pass depth, I'm going to go ahead and go 0 0.20. So what that does is it means it's going to cut the first pass at uh, 2 tenths of an inch. And then it's going to come back and do one final pass, which shall be a really fine one. So that's it. You go ahead and click that in there. And uh, you can see it's gone ahead and created the edging around your board. And it will cut it out as well. So I hope this helps, and again, bud, I'm not trying to infringe on your uh, uh, space there, man. I have learned so much from you and hope that I can give a little back. Thanks again. I'm going to go help my wife plant some flowers.